Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On that quick tutorial, we will see how to create a snapshot on the Phoenix A320 using FSI Panel Advanced Edition. This time, we will use a snapshot feature where the engines are running and when we are ready for departure, so to save time and repeat engine out or normal flight without having to reprogram all the time your MCDU. Make sure you watch the first tutorial, the description, the link is in the description below. This is very important because we saw very important information on how to create snapshot. This video is the second part and will go much faster and we are going to use the script that we've already saved on the first part. So if you don't understand what's happening now on that video, make sure you check, you check sorry, the first uh, tutorial. All right, so I just loaded here my Airbus in Zurich on runway 28 and let's jump in the cockpit as you can see this is the default panel when we uh, load our airbus we have nothing in the fcu the lights are not set properly the seat belt is still off and we have the cones and the uh, external power so the first thing to do here as always just make sure you remove your external power and your chocks so that the aircraft is ready to fly so ground services and I just removed the GPU and the chocks. All right, now my aircraft is basically ready to fly and I can use FSI panel to create the snapshot. So on that way, on that video, we are going to use the script from the first uh, video, but we don't need to use a script. You could type in your own MCDU from scratch. This is just to save some time. So this is why I will show you that method now. All right, let's start FSI panel. Here we go, FSI panel has started. Very important as always, check you are in Zurich. On runway 28 and the Phoenix A320 has been detected. Now, when you click on take snapshot this time, again, do you want FSI panel to preset your cockpit? So let's have a look at our Airbus. We are sitting on the runway, the auto brake is not set to max. We have the lights off, we have the seat belt light off, sorry, we have the uh, uh, transponder is too automatic and it's not uh, correctly set. The uh, spoiler is not armed, the flaps are up, so basically the aircraft has just loaded uh, on the runway. So if you use that preset, that FSI panel will basically set your cockpit for a departure, and then it will still give you the time later on to finalize your cockpit to make sure you have the right flap setting, to make sure you have your uh, correct nav setting, and so on. So here it's always good to use that feature. So let me uh, click on the button and you will see what happens. Here we go, I will click on yes, and let's go in our cockpit and you can see that a lot of things are happening. The lights are set now for departure, the seat belt light, the seat belt, sorry, is on. We can see that our transponder is on, our speed brake is armed, the flaps have been extended to two. So basically now we have everything done for departure. This is just uh, the basic stuff, then you will have time to continue. All right, let's go back in FSI panel and continue our preparation for the snapshot. All right, instruction as always. So the profile is ready for takeoff. Set now the options. So again, we would like the FCU altitude to 5,000 feet, just like on the first tutorial. We will let FSI panel set the correct QNH in case we want to use different weather. And finally, I will click on start recording. Again, as before, I would set the weight, 59 tons, and six tons of fuel. If I'm going too fast here, make sure you check the first video, then you will understand uh, much better what's happening now. All right, click OK. Now FSI panel is doing its job. So if we look from inside that time, you can see that the reset is done on the MCDU. Then FSI panel will set the uh, fuel at six tons. Then it will go to the... Uh, wait and set 59 tons for us and finally bring the MCDU to the init page where we can start programming or routing. Once this is done, we have that window that opens automatically exactly the same way as on the ground before engine parked, sorry, aircraft parked. So make sure you put it somewhere where you can see the FSI panel MCDU as well as your captain MCDU. And now we can start tapping our MCDU. Here you could do exactly the same way as before, tapping during Geneva and so on. But as we have done already a snapshot with the aircraft parked, I'm gonna use the file that I saved before. So I'll go to File, Load, and I will 
take the tutorial Zurich Geneva. Remember, this is the file that we saved. Open, and I get my old script right there. So before clicking done, again, I will test it to make sure everything works properly. So I will click on test me. It warns me that it will cancel everything. I agree. And now we are going to check the setup of the MCDU using the file that we created before when the aircraft was parked at the gate. So again, we start from scratch to make sure that everything is at the same spot and we should have again the routing inserted as before. So Zurich, Geneva, flight number, cost index will come and then we will go to page two to set the uh, 2.5. Never set again the, 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 the weight or the fuel on in each page two. FSI panel will do it for you, so never do that. Then the routing is there. After that, the arrival. And finally, the performance that we computed. And finally, the uh, thrust reduction, acceleration, engine out acceleration, and I think we set Cloton as the active VOR. And now FSI panel is automatically setting the weight as you can see. All right, now that this is done, we have checked that everything works perfectly well. We can check that we have climb nav, we have the routing, we have 5,000 feet right there, so everything looks good. So we are good, I can click done on my MCDU, I'm happy with it. And now let's go back into FSI panel to see what are, what is the next instruction. Here we are, so you can see that we've done all this and now it tells you, the MCDU is programmed, please enter the description for your snapshot, finalize your cockpit setup as desired, radio, lights, flaps, etc., and then click save snapshot. So let's start by the description. I will put Zurich Geneva, that's it. Now I will not click yet save snapshot because I wanna make sure my cockpit is set properly. So again here, maybe I like to have 10 miles for the um, navigation display. First of all, 10 miles. Then what else? The flaps. Be careful, FSI panel has set flaps two for, uh, for us and it's flaps one for our performance. So make sure you go flaps one. Then we're gonna set the radio. So tower is 118.1 in Zurich. 118 decimal one. This is the tower frequency and we are going to set the uh, departure, 125.955. So this is departure, and there I just wanna make sure I have 1215. That's it. So now you look at your cockpit, you set your switch as you like, your lights as you like, we have the flaps, everything looks good. I will set a transponder code. Let's put two, three, four, five. And once you are happy with it, everything is good for you. Maybe you fly at night and you want to change your, uh, your display. Feel free to do it. Once everything is good, what I will do, just click test to make sure takeoff config. If you see normal, it's fine. That might be your last chance to see that the flap setting that you have here don't match the one in the MCDU. So now we are all good. We are ready to save the snapshot. So let's go in uh, FSI panel and save the snapshot. Here we are, we've done everything. We are happy, we have the description. So I'll click on save snapshot and here FSI panel is telling me exactly the same as before on the uh, uh, snapshot when the aircraft was parked. You have to wait around 20 to 30 seconds for FSI panel to save your cockpit to look at all the switches and then you will get a confirmation that the snapshot is saved successfully. So that should appear just now. Let's see. Here we go. Snapshot added to your database. Then we can click OK and that's it. So now I will restart the sim and I will show you how easy you can reload that snapshot. So let me restart the sim, I will pause the video and I see you when the aircraft is again on the runway. All right, the sim is ready. I just loaded the aircraft on runway 28. I click ready to fly. And as you can see now, nothing is there. We have a FCU completely blank, no routing. 
If we look at the flaps, they are probably up. Yes, we have no light, seat belt is off. So basically, this is just the way we get the aircraft when we load it on a runway. First thing to do, remove the uh, chocks and the external power. You can do that at the end as well, but I usually do it right at the beginning. So I will remove the chocks and the GPU. Then we are ready to fly. And now I will start FSI panel. First thing to check, as always, Zurich, Runway 28, Phoenix A320. And now if I click on Load Snapshot, only the snapshot when engines are running will be displayed. So this is why we don't see our snapshot engine is off at the parking position. So we just see the last snapshot that we have just done. Zurich Geneva, again, you can export it with the community. You can delete it if you're not happy. And we can load it. So now I will load it and we will see if everything works as expected. So click on load panel state and let's see what's happening. Now we will see the weight that will be set up. So we're expecting six tons of fuel and the zero fuel weight is 59,000 kilogram. So you can see that now. And then FSI panel will start programming the MCDU as per the uh, routing that we know by heart now. So let's go Zurich, Geneva. And this is real time. If in your computer, the uh, speed of uh, FSI panel programming the MCDU is not the same as mine, this is a setup that uh, you can do uh, in FSI panel. I will show you that once uh, this is complete. So maybe you can increase the speed on your computer depending on your performance. So I will show you that in a minute. Now we have the arrival, we're going to have the performance as well. Flaps. Everything is set for us exactly the way we programmed it. So you save a bit of time to fly again your uh, training scenario. Now the weight, as you can see, it's done by FSI panel. If, that, if I was flying in pound, FSI panel would have set that training weight in pound. Now we can hear that some switches are happening. FSI panel is setting the lights, seat belt, pumps, and a transponder, everything will be set. You see transponder, we still have 2000, and FSI panel will type in the, the squawk. I think we had two, three, four, five, and basically everything is set. I wanted to have 10 miles on my navigation display. This is done. So basically, we are ready to fly. So you can see that the only thing I have to do now is take off config, normal, and my cockpit is ready. QNH has been set, lights are set. We are ready for departure. So it takes, it took around 45 seconds, let's say about one minute, and you are ready to, to fly your uh, scenario. All right, I was mentioning something about the speed. So let me show you that quickly in FSI panel. So if you go to setup, and under Phoenix tab, on top of, of the uh, tab here, you can see here the MCDU typing speed. So right now I'm at the fastest. You can go from slowest to fastest. You can try fastest. And if you get some errors like missing keys or MCDU is not set properly, reduce a little bit the speed until everything works perfectly well. On my system, I can go to fastest and it works uh, pretty well. All right, so we are back in the cockpit and we are ready to depart. So I will release the parking brake. I will do the takeoff. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any question or any comment about that new feature, please write it down in the section below. And I will be very happy to answer any, your, any of your questions or comments. Thank you, guys. Stay safe and see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.